Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Bruce Do reaction. This one is called Bruce Do First Time Wasted. So he's gonna be wasted. So Brew is gonna be wasted for the first time of his life. All right, let's get into this right here, right now. Go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Bruce Do Films. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. Remember, guys. Do not drink. It is not good to drink. Um, once in a while it's fine. If it's soda, then you're fine, I guess, because uh, soda's way better than alcohol and whatever. Just, I'm just gonna say. All right, this this shit's empty. <laughs> let's get into this right here, right now. In three, two, one, let's go. All right. Now, a lot of you may already know this, but I like to have a drink from time to time. And by all means, I'm no Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I like to think that I have a decent tolerance and I can hold my own. Now, of course, that's not always been the case. I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere, right? So today, I'm going to tell you about the first time that I got drunk. And of course, it's not a pretty story. It's a lot like everybody else's story about the first time. Drunk, wasted, whatever you want to call it. God, the first time I got drunk, I puked in the bushes, broke up with my boyfriend, and then shat in my own bed. Uh, that's great, Aunt Carol. Can you pass the mashed potatoes, please? Man, you can do literally anyways, anything when you're wasted. Channel and I feel like telling it. But before I do that... Bruce Do Films does not condone binge drinking in any way, shape, or form. Alcohol is bad for you, it makes you smell like divorce, and it's the reason why your Uncle Rick sleeps on your couch. Aw, oh, God damn it! <laughs> right, now that that's all <laughs> I don't have an Uncle Rick. Mistake. I have an Uncle, uh, years ago, and my roommate Kevin, but not Rick. And we're looking to celebrate. How are we gonna celebrate, you ask? Well, we're gonna fucking drink like pirates. What do you think? But since we were both broke as hell back then, our options on alcohol were very limited. After all, your beer budget's pretty slim when you're having utilities shut off on a routine basis. So naturally, we got a case of the cheapest, shittiest beer we could find. No, even shittier than that. Shittier still. Keep going. Oh. Whoa, whoa, way too far. No, we're not fucking animals. Bud Light. Jesus Christ. There, that's the one perfect. So we have some friends over. We start drinking some beers. But and Coors and Bud Light are the two that I actually I know of. That I hate the taste of beer. I thought it was yucky back then, which was crazy to me because my ass grew up watching Stone Cold Steve Austin, Two Fist and Cold Ones every Monday night. How the hell could I not like beer? Uh, maybe it tastes different if you drink it on top of a turnbuckle in your underwear. I don't know. But fortunately for me, Brewer didn't just get shitty beer to drink. He also got an equally shitty bottle of tequila. And we're talking bottom of the barrel stuff here. This ain't no Jose Cuervo. This is like Jose fucking hell the fuck no. It's a very unauthentic <laughs> bottle of tequila. Hell the Jose fuck Mexican no. Is my high school Spanish teacher and shit. Pico de Gallo. Poor face. Favor? Grassy ass. Now let me just say, learning how to drink on Grassy ass. Yeah. is a terrible idea. Grassy so I was ass. trying to learn how to ride a bike as a kid on fucking Evil Knievel's rocket cycle. Whoa, it can go that fast. Because that night, I was determined to get hammered. You guys dare me to take a shot for every hand that I lose? What? No, dude, that oh, like no. a terrible idea. You're gonna oh, risk you it. Dare me? No, dude, are you fucking nuts? Okay, fine, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it, since you insist. Now, the name of the game that we were playing that night was Euchre. And for those of you that don't know, Euchre is a card game that we play out here in the Midwest. And Euchre just so happens to pair very well with drinking copious amounts of alcohol. It's pretty much all we got to do out here in the Midwest. What can I say? But taking Bruh. a shot for every hand that I lost in Euchre was stupid as hell. I mean, for one, I blew ass at Euchre. I had no business making that bet in the first place. And for two, since I never drank before, I had the alcohol tolerance of a fucking diabetic third grader. So throughout the night, I'm getting my ass kicked oh, in, and I'm having to take shot after shot like I'm fucking Superman. Gulp, gulp. Oh god, it tastes like spicy piss. I hate it. And contrary to Spice. games like bowling, oh, my. Or I mean, I think I drunk actually. The more that I drink. Yeah, I just get sometimes it and it tastes and different. Shittier. Depends on the beer. At me from the inside and shit. Stop calling Trump when you're four suited, you stupid asshole. Are you trying to ruin us? Well, needless to say, about an hour goes by, and all of a sudden I'm fucking drunker than a stepdad at a little league game. Gulp, gulp. This doesn't taste like spicy piss anymore. This doesn't taste like anything anymore. So I stumble into the bathroom, and like a lot of people do their first time getting drunk, I look into the mirror, and I meet my drunk self for the first time. Whoa, wait a minute. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, I'm the drunk you. That's who I am. I'm a lot like drunk Uber, you. But shittier, louder, and sometimes I think I know how to dance. Oh, okie dokie then. Now at this point, things start to get a little hazy. Because it's at this point your brain's like, hey, you can take it from here, right? I'm gonna run down to the store and get a pack of smokes. Uh, try not to <laughs> hold yourself up too much. I bad. guess your brain really does that. Um, now, I don't well, know if I got drunk. I distinctly remember from that. Because I remember but drinking like a bunch of uh, sangrias and uh, the greatest wrestling game known to man. But since I just got really sleepy. So, so I don't think that's drunk, I guess. Ass. 
which goes to show how drunk I was because Brewer sucks ass at WrestleMania. I was Stone Cold Steve Austin for Christ's sake. He's over there beating my ass with Blue Meanie of all people. But regardless, what happened after our little WrestleMania match, I couldn't tell you because, well, I wasn't there. I mean, sure. I was he was drunk. Family, Brew was drunk. My brain was off getting a pack of Marlboro Reds, remember? But according to everybody's testimony the next day, apparently I stood up on the couch and yelled something to the effect of, ah, fuck the Blue Meanie. You guys want to see me do a drop kick for real? And then to nobody's amusement, I did a haphazard missile drop kick into the air and totally obliterated my shitty end table that I made a wood shot. Now that everybody's staring at me like RIP table. table. I decided to do my finishing move. And that of course is where I throw up on the floor like a newborn baby. Blech. Oh, sick! What kind of circus shit is going on here? A drunk I person would I do that. I possibly make an ass of myself anymore. I fucking stick my hand in my own puddle of throw up. Now, why the hell would I do something like that? Because well, he's I drunk. Had no idea. I wasn't there. But I think I was just trying to make sure that it was all real. Like, there was no way that I did that. This isn't my puke, is it? It doesn't feel like my puke. Well, it's at this point that everybody's just about finished with my fucking theatrics. I swear to God, if he, like, does something bad, stupid, like, like eats it or whatever. I close my door, my drunk ass has the audacity to wish Brewer one final happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Blech. Oh, God. The next morning, I happy birthday, Brewer. what I would call a hangover from hell. My mouth tastes like the inside of a porter potty. My head feels like it was shoved up an asshole of some sort. Yeah, that's what hang... I, I know that's what hangovers usually do. ...from an episode of Law and & Order, and I'm totally baffled. Whoa, what happened? Who the hell broke my end table? I got a B-minus on that goddamn thing. You did, you stupid drunk idiot. And then you fucking played patty cake with your puddle of puke like some kind of sick asshole. So needless to say, the moral of this story is pretty simple. Don't, Number one, don't drink, don't drink. shitty tequila like it's the end of the world. Number two, don't make shitty bets on euchre when you suck ass at euchre. And number three, don't put your hand in your own throw up like some kind of yeah, animal. Yeah, lessons be learned, boys. Party. The end. Bruce2.com Logan Hart and Robert I didn't get to read that because uh, my brain is too uh, too slow. Way too slow. Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Bruce Two Films. Make sure like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching and deuces.